Music Access. It's Savings Day here in Korea, and in other words, it's a day to help promote saving and spending wisely. Are you guys saving up for the future? The reason we have to save up for the future is in case we run into a situation where we need a big sum of money and of course also to live a little bit more of a stable and secure life, right? In order to save, we need to first make an overall budget to find out how much we should spend on certain things or if we're spending excessively on certain things. So, what about creating a budget together to see if we're not overspending or if we're spending the right amount? Let's check our financial status and while we're at it, why don't we check the status of our hearts as well. We can check if we're not getting too angry at people or how much we should be giving away our hearts to others and stuff like that. The first song you heard today, Tuesday, October 27th, 2015 was Hula Hoop by Omi. What's up, Music Access fam? It is the last Tuesday of October, and today is Savings Day. So, like I mentioned, to live a financially stable life, we should plan ahead for our spending, and just the same for an emotionally stable life, we should plan ahead for our hearts as well, don't you think? Let's check to see if we're putting too much of our heart into something, or too little of our heart into something, or if we're getting too angered by something that doesn't really deserve that much. This is all for our mental and emotional well-being, you know, you know, you know, you heard. Alright, so you guys know by now that we had a little reshuffle last Monday here on Music Access, right? Well, here's some information on our new Daily Corner. For the first hour, Benji's hints will become even more brilliant with your love and participation. All About Music with Season 2, Benji style will still be in the first hour, but we have a new corner. Instead of Time Traveler's Mailbox, it's called Me, You. Just like the title, it's about me and you. You can tell me about you and the people around you. Just write Me, You on the title and leave your message on our message board. And in the second hour, of course, today we have a corner to select music to fit a certain theme or situation. Men in Music will have Sam joining me in the studio for that in just a bit. Now, before that, here's how you can listen and participate. If you have a smartphone, you can download the Adirang Radio app or TuneIn Radio app to listen to our programs and send in your messages. And if you use a computer, just visit www.adirangradio.com slash music access to listen to us or leave your messages. Another way you can tune in is through Terrestrial DMB, but this is only available for our listeners living on Jeju Island. The frequencies are 88.7 for Jeju City, 88.1 for Seogipo, and 101.9 for Taejong. And remember, if you have any songs you want to hear today, or maybe a song you want to let someone hear as a gift, go ahead and send those requests onto our message board under the subject title, Request. Now we'll come right back after a song for message time, and we're going to check out the song Too Young to Remember by Flory. The song you just heard was Too Young to Remember by Flory, but it's, it's very similar to a lot of different songs. <laughs> Alright, so continuing on to our message time, our first message comes from Joyce Fajardo from the Philippines saying, Hey there, Benji M. Music Access. I've been listening a few months now, but I can't stand not posting a message. Benji is such an adorable DJ and makes me smile just by hearing your voice. Thanks for sharing your non-stop energy. <gasps> Joyce, 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 you should have sent a message like way before, even just like saying, you know, this is my first time on radio stopping by, what's up, what's up? But anyway, now that you did send a message, first of all, um, Hanyong Amida, welcome to Music Access. Um, continue to stop by, although I guess if you've been listening for a few months now, you're probably not going to stop considering we just had our fall reshuffle, which should definitely make things even more exciting from now on. So, continue to keep the energy coming non-stop, and I'll, of course, send just as much, if not more, back. And we have Nia Boo from the USA saying, Hi Benji, how are your abs coming? I wanted to help motivate my mom to work out more, so I signed up for a personal trainer with her. Now, for the first time in my life, I have someone monitoring me as I make weird faces while working out. 
I've never done weight training before, so my muscles are really weak, and my arms turn into noodles after every session. Ah, Benji, save me. How do I stay motivated? Getting a sexy body is hard work, guys. Ha ha ha. Good luck dieting and exercising, M.A. fam. You know, um, I've gone to a gym, you know, I've gone to a couple, a few gyms before, I've gotten uh, personal training before, and I've, you know, worked out by myself before, and I've worked out with my members before, and the one thing that I think I realized above everything else, you know, it's hard, working out is hard, that's not a lie, whatever you do, it's gonna hurt, and it's gonna be tiring, and blah, 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 but the important thing is, you need to kind of keep the energy flowing, um, no matter how much you kind of feel like, oh my gosh, I need a break today because my muscles are so sore and my body is so sore, at least go to the gym and do small weights, you know, you got to keep that, uh, burning going and at the same time switch up your routine as well because from what I heard, um, if you keep the same workout routine all the time, your body gets used to that as well. So, uh, it's a matter of, I think, getting used to the pain, enjoying it. And literally, you know, living with the motto, no pain, no gain. I think that really applies to working out. And if you want to get that sexy body, you got to get through that unsexy pain. But if you fight through it, I'm sure you'll get a good result. So good luck to you and your mom, Nia. Hope y'all get that bombing athletic fit. And if it's, it's weird if I say, like, send pictures. Because that's, that's not the kind of send picture. But, you know, good luck. And I hope you get, you know... Six packs. Although, I don't know if that's weird. I don't know. Anyways. Moving on. So, thank you everyone for sending messages. And we're going to check out a song before we come back with... Meow. And we're going to listen to the song Omen by Disclosure featuring Sam Smith. Meow. Spending time with me and you. Stories between me and you. Me, you. We always want to hear from you on Music Access. And we want to hear from you about what kind of person you are. What you like, what you think about, and how you spend your day. We also want to know about your family, friends, co-workers, and the people around you. We want to know about them, how you know them, what kind of memories you have with them, and what you do with them. Our new daily corner, Me You, is all about that. Stories about me that I want to tell DJ Benji. Stories about the people around me that I want to tell our MA fam. And stories about my day, my family, and my friends. We'll share those stories about me, you, and everyone around us on Me You. Now, of course, here's how you can participate for Me You. You can visit our website, www.adidangradio.com slash music access and write Me You on your message title or download the Adidang Radio app or TuneIn Radio app on your smartphone and use the comment function to write Me You on your title. Either way, as long as we get your message, we love you. Now, let's start today's Me You and our first Me You message is from Darcy Ann from the USA saying... Anyang Anyang Benji. On Halloween 2015, I plan on dressing up as an old school Korean girl with a hanbok I will be crafting out of a quilted bathrobe. Huh, quilted bathrobes. I will be going to work dressed that way and greeting everyone who comes into the language lab. Language lab? Huh. I want to make sure that I can introduce myself in Korean and be able to use a little bit more of the language than I normally do. I can't wait. So, I guess you also wrote um, what you plan to say, these phrases. So, you wrote, uh, 안녕하세요, or uh, hello. 제 이름은 Darcy입니다. My name is Darcy. Uh, 만나서 반갑습니다. It's nice to meet you. And Halloween 인사, Halloween greetings. Or, I guess, happy Halloween, 행복한 Halloween. I guess if that's what you say. But, uh, you know, I, I just realized that no one really says, like, Merry Christmas or Happy Halloween or Happy Thanksgiving here in Korea. They're just like, uh, Christmas, yay! Halloween, yay! <laughs> That's literally, I think, all of it. So, uh, you know, I just realized uh, that, uh, you know, that, that was a kind of a mind freeze right there. But uh, hopefully, if you have a lot more fun there, 
uh, you'll have a lot of fun in that quilted uh, bathrobe hanbok. I feel like that'll be super comfortable because I wore a hanbok, you know, a while back for a program and it was, it's hot. A hanbok is a hot outfit. So, you know, hopefully uh, it's a little chilly uh, at the time when you wear it. But uh, if not, bring a towel to wipe up the sweat, maybe, because it'll probably be hot. And uh, if I can tell you one more phrase, just be like, if someone scares you, don't be like, whoa, just be like, Ow, kamchagia. That's like, I'm surprised. So, uh, yeah, good luck with that. Hope you have a happy Halloween. Although we still have a few days left, so yeah, plan it out well. Now, we're going to check out a song before we come back with another message for our me, you. And we're going to listen to the song that Ariadna of Mexico wants to hear, What the Hell by Avril Lavigne. We just heard the song, What the Hell, by Avril Lavigne. And it's time to continue on to our second meal message, which is from Regine May and Parado from the Philippines, saying, Hello to you, DJ Benji. I hope you've had a great day so far. It's been a while since I tuned in because of a hectic schedule, but thank God I'm on semestral break. I want to tell you and our MA family about my feelings today, as well as the reason I'm feeling this way. I think if I talk about it with you guys, I'll feel a little better. You know, we all have those days. Those days when it just feels better when you have someone to talk to and when someone just listens to you. Anyway, I feel upset because the weather isn't really that good. I wanted to go out and enjoy my break, but the weather won't let me. But it's fine since listening to Adidang Radio completes my day despite of the gloomy weather. Yay! Yay! Um, I feel like when it comes to gloomy weather, you know, I totally understand what that means. You know, you have one day off, and it's like you're one day off in a super, super long time, and you want to go out, but it's pouring rain. And then you think, you know, I could go out. I could go out in an umbrella with a raincoat and just, like, do something. But I could also just stay at home and do nothing, which is what I normally do on a normal day. But it seems like such a waste of time. And then, you know what happened to me the last time that happened? I ended up cleaning my room. <laughs> I was like, oh, if I'm going to go out, whether I go out or whether I stay in, uh, my room's kind of messy. I should probably clean it up a little bit. And so, you know, I started cleaning up my room. I started doing all this stuff. And, uh, yeah, I feel like when it comes to those kind of days, we feel a little under the weather. Because we're always under the weather. Get the joke. Hope that cheered you up. But, uh, you know, I feel like... We should find something that kind of takes our mind off that. You know, for me, when I was a trainee, sometimes it was, you know, dramas. Sometimes it was computer games. To the point where, whether it's sunny or rainy, I just kind of played the game, which is not good. Sorry, mom and dad. But, yeah, I mean, these kind of things and these emotions totally make sense. I totally understand it. But, um, you know, hopefully, uh, in the future, you'll find some awesome things to do, even when the weather is not that good. And if you ever need someone to talk to, Arirang has got your back. Music access especially. Alright, so thanks for your message and I hope you'll send more messages to us for this corner me you. Remember guys, here's how you can participate for this corner. Just visit our website www.arirangradio.com slash music access and write me you on your message title or download the Arirang Radio or TuneIn Radio app on your smartphone and use the comment function to write me you on your title. And now we'll come right back after a song for All About Music Quiz Season 2, a Benji Style. And we're going to check out the song that Ryoko of Japan requested, Collide by Howie Day. All About Music and All About Quizzes, a great collaboration of music and quizzes, All About Music Quiz! <laughs> music, Quiz, and Benji come together to make this corner more complete. All About Music with Season 2, it's Benji style. So, today's double A Music Quiz answer. Let me see. Okay, so today's answer is a person. And uh, the first hint is going to be Benji's keyboard hand. Woo! So listen carefully and try to guess what today's answer is. So the first keyword, he doesn't have just one name. He has three names. Wow, that's a lot of names. The second keyword, 
two of his names have to do with his nicknames from back when he was a member of TVXQ. <gasps> that was a big hint. He's now a member of JYJ as well as a solo artist. <gasps> and the fourth keyword, he's also a popular musical actor. <gasps> what? Okay, so who is he? I think you know the answer, but if you don't know, um, try, we'll wait, we come back with another hint. But before that, if you know today's answer already, go ahead and write answer on your title and send us a message with the correct answer. Now we'll check out a song and come back with another hint for Double A Music Quiz, and we'll check out the song that Injin One of Korea wants to hear, Achimbuto Achimkaji by Teen Top. We just heard Achimbuto Achimkaji by Teen Top, and it's back to our All About Music with Season 2 Benji style. Today's answer is a person, and our second hint, it's a music hint. I'm gonna let you hear a part of today's answer's recent track. Ready? Music, please. <laughs> Husky vocals. Ah, oh, so good. Alright, so whose voice is it? I'm pretty sure you know whose voice it is. So if you know today's answer, go ahead and write answer on your title and send us a message with the correct answer. And you can also send your answer via the Adirang Radio or TuneIn Radio app via the comment function. And for both, don't forget to write answer on your title before you send your message, whether you send via the website or the app. Now, before we move on, we're going to check out a song, and we're going to listen to the song, Modern Chukkejo by Chubora. We just heard Modern Chukkejo by Chubora, and wow, I did not know that she was, I didn't know who this person was before today, but, you know, she's got some crazy vocals, she's a, yeah, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> I can't go that high, but that was really, really crazy. Guys, I'm going to check out her music after, and I recommend you do as well. All right, now it's time for message time, and our first message comes from Kim Chi He from Korea saying, Since it's Tuesday, your favorite person, Sam, will be here soon. Benji, you seem to like Sam a lot. Is there a special reason? What do you find so attractive about Sam? I mean, duh, you look at it. No, I'm just kidding. And she said, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. What do you like about Sam? Um, I don't know. You know, um, from the first day I met him, I, I didn't really know what to expect. You know, I just heard that he was a... You know, if, if we're going to be open on the book about this, I, I was like, you know, if we're going to have a radio guest, make it a girl. No, I'm just kidding about that. But, you know, I heard some guy called Sam's coming in. And then he comes in and, you know, he's tall. He's very, you know, skinny. He's got the whole, you know, musician look. And then the more I talk with him, you know, there's just a lot of, you know, matching points and... You know, in our song Selection Battle, I've probably mentioned this before, but we've actually, you know, we don't really talk about this song Selection Battle outside of, you know, broadcast, obviously, because, you know, it's a battle. But then when we come in and we're like, you know, what about this song? There's been times when I've picked the exact same song for this situation, which is, you know, imagine how many songs there are and imagine how many different kind of musical tastes people have. And even with all that said... There's still, you know, songs that are, um, that, you know, overlap for me, which is crazy. So, you know, I just, you know, and he's just an awesome guy overall. He's an awesome musician. He's got everything going for him. So that's why I like Sam. Although I do love all my guests equally. Mm -hmm. Gotta, you know, put a little bit of a good ending there. And Kaylee from France saying, Bonjour, Benji. Random question for Halloween. Vampire or werewolf? Vampire, because werewolves, I don't want to have to deal with all that hair. Ghosts or zombies? Ghosts, because I'd be able to float through solid objects, which I think is, like, better than having, you know, rotting flesh. Haunted house or cemetery? Um, if I had to pick one to sleep in right now, I would say haunted house. 
But if I had to pick one as my home, if I'm a vampire, I would say neither. I'd want to live in a very nice hotel. Spiders or snakes? I would pick snakes because I really, really don't like spiders. I'm not a spider kind of guy. I'm a very Benji kind of guy. All right, so thank you everyone for sending in your messages to Message Time. Now we're going to check out two songs before we continue on with more. Starting with Dum Dum by Red Velvet, followed by the song Danielle of Australia Wants to Hear, A Chara Dope by Pang Tan Sonyan and it's time to wrap up our first hour. In the second hour, we'll come back soon with Sam for a minute music. So to wrap things up for our first hour, I'll let you hear Unbreakable Smile by Tori Kelly and be right back. What's up, what's up, Music Access with me, Benji of B.I.G. On the second hour of Music Access for today, we have music, we have stories, and we have man. And we have Sam. Our Tuesday Corner Men and Music is coming up in just a bit, so don't go away. Before that, here's how you can listen and participate on MA. You can download the Adidang Radio or TuneIn Radio app on your smartphone. And you can also send us messages via the comment function. Or listen to us by visiting our website, www.adidangradio.com slash musicaccess, and leave your messages there on our message board. Another way you can tune in is through Terrestrial DMB, but this is only available for our listeners living on Jeju Island. The frequencies are 88.7 for Jeju City, 88.1 for Seogwipo, and 101.9 for Taejong. Now we're going to listen to a song and be back with Sam to start off our Tuesday Corner Men of Music. And we're going to check out the song Calling Me by Sam featuring Pac-1. Two cool guys are here right now. Two cool guys will show up their acting chops right now. But here's what's really important. Two sexy men will let you hear great songs of various genres right here, right now. And we're doing it all for you guys. Two guys, some great acting and great songs are all here on Men and Music. Yeah. Hello, Sam. What up, Benji? Welcome to Adidang Radio. This was my American DJ voice. You know how they do, you know. <laughs> Hot Cube FM. B9. Um, yeah. So you know the bomb sounds. All the DJ remix. Yeah. Yeah. All right, call me DJ Ballad. So that doesn't make sense. <laughs> All right, so uh, you have a good week. It's the, already the last Tuesday of October. It is. I can't believe it's already. I can't believe it. Yeah. That means in under a certain amount of time, uh-huh. I'll be on music broadcasts. Oh, wow. Yeah. I can't be specific about that, but, you know. Album's coming. Stuff's coming out. And uh, I was going to, I was planning to strip. Mm Because, you know, we did the sports bra and Uh and I was working on my body. Uh But, uh, yeah, uh, fried chicken got in the way of that. You're getting sexier by the day. Thank you. Yeah. You look, you look, you're getting sexier by the minute. <laughs> yeah, I can see that sexiness just like oozing out of you. All right. So is there something you lost and something you gained this month? What would it be? I lost a lot of weight. Uh Uh-huh. And I gained a lot of respect. Oh, uh, that's a good trade. That's a good trade. <laughs> yeah. I lost, I, lost, I lost my self-respect and I gained a lot of weight. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, uh, you know, I, I, while we weren't promoting, mm-hmm. I kind of lost track of the whole idol thing. Uh-huh. And I was, you know, just focusing on like, my music and stuff I had to do. Uh-huh. So I started eating. Yeah. I, I ate really well. You, you were at a lot of places. Yeah, I was, you know, I had yeah. to go to this place, I had to go uh-huh. to that place. And, you know, I ate a lot of good food and, you know, I got round. So you can roll oh. me like a barrel. But you look fine right now. I think you look good right now. Oh, thank you. No, I started, you know... Exercise and dancing oh, yeah, and all that no. stuff again. Because yeah. now that uh, stuff is, you know, starting to roll towards the big thing, uh, yeah. I got to get back into, you know, stage shape, idol shape. Heads up to all the um, B.I.G. fans out there. Be ready. Be ready. We coming. We coming. Except I'm not showing off my six pack. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you know, today is savings day here in Korea. Oh. Did you know that? Savings day. Savings day. Savings day meaning like. Like money savings. Oh. Like cash money. Something that I don't have. Something that I I have I have a lot of it right now. Do you know how much I got on me? How much do you have? I got ten. I got fifty. Yo. Yeah. I really have fifty. Wow. I actually have ten though. I have like oh my ten thousand. Wow. I have I have a uh, manon. <laughs> I have the ten thousand one. That's enough to get a a coffee. And that's B I G. And that's Sam. Yeah. Yeah. This is the life of a musician. <laughs> now, but you know, um, you know, are you a good saver when it comes to that kind of money? No, I am not. I'm not. I'm not good at um, saving. I. I spend a lot of money, but not on me. I like when money comes in, mm-hmm. 
I have like so many things I want to do. Like necessities and things to yeah. uh, advance, you know, yeah, whether like it's music or instruments or albums or whatever. That makes sense. I just keep pushing. So I know I don't have a lot of money saved up, but I live, I live. Like I it's by. not that you don't have money coming in, it's just you use it as yeah. it's coming in. You know, I use it when it doesn't come in and, you know, it's putting me in the neck. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. So, uh, you know, when you were in the States, which is when you were in Korea, mm-hmm. do you think your, um, kind of your concept of money kind of changed? Oh, yes. Like, for me, because I remember when I first came here, I had an allowance mm-hmm. per week. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it was, like, calculated carefully. Yeah. So, you know how in Korea there's not, like, tax, like in the States? Uh-huh. Well, there is tax, but it's all, like, like calculated. Yeah. So, like, lunch is 5000 uh-huh. Or lunch is 6000 Okay. Multiply that by three. Uh-huh. Then, let's say I need Subway, which was at the time, like, $2.30. Uh-huh. So, then you, like, add all this stuff up. Then you yeah. get a total. Then, to that, you add, like, $40. Yeah. And that's your weekly allowance. So, wow. sometimes, like, you don't eat. Mm-hmm. And I... I've never been, um, I never calculated money. Uh-huh. I just spend whatever I have. Like, uh-huh. it's like, if you're, if my mom gives me $50, uh-huh. that's her uh, allowance for a whole week or two weeks, whatever it is, uh-huh. I just spend that day. And I figure out another way to make up for the next day. Oh. I've never, that's how I live. That's, that's, that's called the street hustle, guys. <laughs> that's how, that's how people hustle in the grinding in the street, you know? They, they flash in the, you know, they spend 50 today, they spend 100 tomorrow, but we don't know where that comes from. <laughs> grinding, man. <laughs> But that's how it really is. It I, is. True. I don't know how I keep up with my business, my mm-hmm. music career, mm-hmm. and my family and everything. But it, at the end of the year, I got through it. So you smell like money is what someone might say. Don't don't say I don't smell like money. I'm a musician, bro. He smells like fruit today. Actually, <laughs> he smells. He's this kind of fruit. You spray something? No. You spray something really? Cause I just had. No. Okay. Okay. Got <laughs> it. All right. So, <laughs> if uh, you could save something other than money, what would you want to save? Save. So like. The world. The kids in Africa. There we go. Really? You, my sister um, has a water company. Oh. A, in um, Uganda. And Spouse of Water. Um, Support for Spouse of Water, guys. That's, um, it's crazy. It's a different world. My sister's been there for years, and she's like, it's a different world. I have to come visit, but I really want to. Now, I think she's like two factories now. Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah, it's really crazy. Um, people come to Africa to volunteer, uh-huh. and then they give them everything, uh-huh. and then they leave, right? Uh-huh. So they think that they're going to, so if they just live uh-huh. somebody's gonna come to help them yeah but you got to change their mindset and try to work for their water and you know because the kids are dying because they don't have water uh-huh. it's 21st century guys and they don't have water it's yeah. crazy it's crazy so um yeah if i could save the kids in africa give them some education get some guitars over mm-hmm. there some pianos so yeah. i mean they could probably use water than music but you know mm-hmm. use music to get water no like no how- that's what i've been thinking about like made in china guitars like uh-huh. they're like really cheap guitars uh-huh. Well, made in Korea anywhere but uh-huh. cheap guitars yeah. try to get like a thousand guitars uh-huh. and try to donate it to Africa that will change lives millions of lives music changes everything it really does alright so we'll get right into our corner for today and uh, today's topic is comments mm-hmm. do you know what a comment is yes I do they call them tech good here tech in Korea good. comments you know um, so uh, do you, you get a lot of comments I, I, I get some comments cute Benji Benji, cute Benji adorable Benji. Benji looks like a panda <laughs> I like today. You look a little round today. I got this comment. Oh, so there's this program that I'm doing, uh-huh. and uh, it was it was hecka funny. So I got this comment. My company sent it to me via a message, and like, uh, you know, Benji, you should you go chamgoaseyo. You know, pay attention to this. And it says like Benji Shi, you know, Mr. Benji. Ah, no much harbo we say. And I'm watching you really well. Chekun is hachim chingo gateo. It's like I think you gained a little weight. Kredo kiyoyo. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, you know, it's that kind of. Those are the kind of comments for me. You know, mm-hmm. there's, of course, always hater comments. Mm-hmm. But I think, you know, just... I've never really let comments get to me. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, I'm confident with who I am. You know, yeah. I know what I'm doing. I know what I can do, what I have to do in the future. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you know, when baby falls down after taking baby steps, no one's yeah. like, ah, you know, that idiot. it's like, you know, he's, he's learning. Yeah. That's for me what comments are. Well, what about you? Um, comments, I try... I, I tell people that they don't get to me or mm-hmm. I try to say that it, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the night... That's all that is important mm-hmm. because, like, I want to know what people think about my music. Exactly. I don't really care about what they think about how I look or anything, mm-hmm. but the music. But all my comments are mostly about my music. Mm-hmm. Cause, That's good. Because I try to promote it, like, I because I wrote the, all the songs. I have mm-hmm. a story to tell, so. Yeah. That's comments, good, though. Yeah. I, I can't sleep when I see bad comments. Really? Yeah. About the music? Especially about the music. Ah. Yeah. It could be worse. No, but like, if they say something bad about how I look, mm-hmm. I just look in the mirror and be like, well, I, I guess it's right. I guess, <laughs> I guess I'm too that, too this, too whatever. No. But when it gets to music, 
I'll be like, are you serious? Because that's a product. Are you, are, you, are you serious? You want to mess with me when it gets to my music? So, yeah. Then you go be like Notorious B.I.G. <laughs> that's what we got a lot. When we debuted, they're like, yo, you took Notorious B.I.G.'s name. What? Yeah, because we're B.I.G. And they're like, yo, so is this the famous Notorious LOL? And it's like, then we got to be like, we took George Washington's language and we turned it into something else or something. You know, like we took it. What? I don't know. All right. So let's dive into it. Let us know which song you chose that relates to the topic of comments. Comments, 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 comments. Did you pick a song? I picked it. Obviously, if I didn't pick a song, I wouldn't be here today. Did you pick a good song? Obviously. But we're not competing with this song. No, this is just for fun. We're just letting people listen to this song. Okay. So I, you want to go first? I go first? Uh, ladies first. Okay, lady first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lady first. Uh-huh. Um, it's a song by My Chemical Romance. It's uh-huh. called Cancer. Mm. Um, it's, a, it's a band I used to like back in high school. Mm. Um, Cancer, it's about a song that, a word explains love in a way. If mm. you take it the wrong way, mm. if it could hurt you. It mm. could torture you like cancer. Mm-hmm. But in a good way, like... It, it could be... Like a good cancer. No, no, it's not. It's like, it's up to you. Oh, it's to a, make, it depends. It's your own interpretation. Exactly. Oh, that's kind of the approach that I went. Yeah, that's why it's like comments. Uh-huh. If it, if you like take it. If you take it that seriously, yeah. Then, yeah. yeah it can I be like a cancer, so. Okay, so we kind of take it similarly, but differently. No, so for don't, me, don't, don't say that. We're not similar. This is not a battle. This is for fun. I'm Sam. I'm different. No, <laughs> you're not. Um, So I picked the song Shake It Off by Mariah Carey. This is way back. This is from the Emancipation of Mimi. I think the album mm-hmm. was. It's a long, 2006. Um, for me, comments. Um, <laughs> you read about it and you're just like, you know, uh, whatever, whatever. But then, you know, in the end, I just shake it off. You know, mm-hmm. I was just trying to, I was trying to do the uh, uh, Taylor Swift shake it off because I was like, why not pick an more kind of classic song that people haven't heard in a while? So yeah, that's the song I chose. So uh, yeah. let's check the songs out. We're gonna check out the song "Shake It Off" by Mariah Carey, followed by the song "Cancer" by My Chemical Romance. We just heard the song Shake It Off by Mariah Carey, followed by the song Cancer by My Chemical Romance. Good song. It is. I like his voice. He he has a crazy voice, like a rocker. Very, very like emo voice. Yeah. Did you ever go through an emo phase? Oh yeah, I, I like think everybody went through an emo. Like phase. I didn't do the whole I I makeup eyeliner thing. I didn't do oh, that. I, I didn't go. But that. you know, like the hoodies and like like I went through the down, whole skinny jeans, super black. Oh, I could never do skinnies because my legs were kind of fat. Oh yeah, I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, emo. Uh, for those, uh, anyways, moving on. No, but you know that emo that whole trend. Mm-hmm. It connects with the hip hop right now. It's There's the snapbacks that. and like how hip hop people they wear skinny jeans yeah, yeah. and they put like chains on yeah, and everything. Yeah. It kind of blended, it blended in, like it mixed per- in cultures. Yeah, I remember when skinnies were like, "Hey, if you wear skinnies, you know, like you get shot." Yeah, like, if you if you say you wear skinny jeans, you do hip hop. You're like, you don't do hip hop. Boom, yeah. boom, boom, boom. But now it's like everybody wears skinny jeans. And then they, you know everyone's doing like vans and all exactly. that stuff. You like know. there's a rapper by G- name called G Easy. Uh-huh. He's very hot in America right now. He's a white uh-huh. guy. A, a white, a, a, he's, a, he's a Caucasian male. Caucasian man. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he wears skinny jeans and vans and a leather ja- rider jacket. Mm-hmm. And uh, he does hip hop. He does trap music. Really? And he's like one of the hottest. He's blowing up right now. Like 40 million views, 50 million views. I gotta check him out. G Easy. G Easy. Check him out. Does he rock the G shot? Never mind. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get started on Sam and Benji's music selection battle. So, of course, we got to act out a short skit related to today's topic of comments. And then Sam and I will choose a song which fits the scene from the skit, and our producer will choose which song fits the situation better. Let's do the acting. Shall we begin? We must do this. What was that? Music, please. <laughs> weather is amazing today. I feel like something good's gonna happen today. Okay, let's start off the day fresh by searching for my name on the search engine. (laughs) Okay, let's see what kind of articles have been written about me. Benji, shining appearance and great manners on stage. Great, of course, I mean, duh. Next article. Benji's awesome radio hosting skills create a stir. Of course. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What, what's this? W- what are these comments? Huh? Benji knows his reporter. Shining appearance. Whatever, yo. He's ugly. Ho, ho, ho. What? Who is this? Th- does he hate me? I'm- does he even know me? 
I mean, wait, he didn't just write one comment. Benji's great manners on stage, my butt. He totally got all his dance moves wrong. He got it from me. I saw it. <laughs> ah, I thought no one caught it. Who, who saw? Wait, there's more? Benji goes crazy when a girl group comes on his show. <laughs> girl lover. But he hates when it when guys come on special interviews. <laughs> Wait, that's not that's not true whatsoever, by the way, guys, in real life. But uh, anyways, wh I, I can't acknowledge this information's correct. Who is this person? Why are they posting these comments about me? Well, Benji's still nice. He says hi to people. That's all he does. Says hi. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Benji only knows hi. I also know bye. I'm gonna catch this guy. Don't stop me. Wait. I heard someone talk like this before, ending with ho 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 at the end. Where did I hear this? Hmm. <sighs> Benji, you're not ready yet? <sighs> we have to go. Hurry up, we can't be late. Man, I'm going to wait in the car, okay? <sighs> they say keep your friends and your enemies closer. Catch you! You left the mean comments online. I can't believe my own manager would do that. Oh, darn, you caught me. Sorry, Benji. <laughs> you always take so long to prepare. I was sick and tired of always waiting for you. I guess my way of speaking gave my way, gave me away. Darn it. <laughs> so the situation is finding out the person leaving mean comments about me online was a person you knew. So, uh, how would you feel if this really happened to you? I think I'll be shocked. I think I'll be like, wow. What if it was me? How did I live my life? Huh? It's like, I'm, you're finding out me comments and you find out it's me. I'm gonna have to give you a call. I'll be like, Benji, where do you live? I'll be like, yo, by the way, don't bother coming into radio this week. Oh. <laughs> you're fired. No, okay. You know, crazy. but apparently there's an actor called Lee Han, uh -huh. and he said on a variety program that his girlfriend would post a mean comments about him on related articles when she was mad at him. Of course, it wasn't too serious. It was like, Igu Han, you're so pretentious. <laughs> if you had a girlfriend and your girlfriend did something like this, would that be cute? That would be pretty cute. I mean, it's like our own secretly secret way of talk communication, you know? I guess so. Yeah. But it's, that's kind of dangerous, though. But if it's like your ex-girlfriend... Then that's a problem. Then that's a different story. Then we have a problem. Then we have a problem. I have to call and be like, hey, how are you? Where do you live? Uh -huh. Don't bother coming into radio. <laughs> Alright, so uh, why don't we uh, dive into this? What's your song of choice as the final music selection for this situation? Do you, do you pick a song? Of course. I, why are you asking me this? I don't know if you really did it or you just picked something on the ray or something. No, no, no. Of course I planned all this out. Go ahead, you first. Alright, well, so I picked a song, but I'm like... Uh -huh. You have to know, if you put yourself in the other person's shoe yeah it's like they might feel something different yes so it's a song called Ip Jang Jong Ni by Primary yeah um Ip Jang Jong Ni means put yourself into like other person's shoe mm -hmm. like Ip Jang Bakko Sengak Heba Ip Jang Jong Ni right mm -hmm. so I yeah I chose that song I hope you guys like it <laughs> <laughs> how about you Benji um the song I chose was uh I'm not sorry by Dean featuring Eric Bellinger. Uh huh. I I, I don't get that. <laughs> you don't get it? You don't know this song? I know this song, but I kind of don't get it. No, no, no. Because okay, think about it. The 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 hook goes like this. Uh, I'm thinking about uh, it. No, no. The first the opening is uh -huh. I live my life like this. Uh -huh. You know, and then the hook is like you know, um, I'm not sorry. I'm just getting started in my last party. Mm -hmm. So it's like that, right? He just <laughs> so doesn't it, know what he's saying right now. What he's about. So when it comes to this, I don't know what you're saying, bro. Hey, hey, just okay, stop I'm confusing sorry. me. Right. So when it comes to this situation, if you find out someone is leaving mean comments about you online, mm -hmm. honestly, you're not gonna feel that good. Mm -hmm. But then, if you live your life like the way you live your life with confidence, mm -hmm. then you know it shouldn't really matter about that kind of stuff. You know, it's an I'm sorry. I'm, no, hey, I'm actually not. But, but, Put the other person in your shoe. I mean, put yourself in the other person's shoe. So then why, why do you think this comments? person wrote me in comments? Because I was a bad person, this guy. But or like the manager, I was late all the time. I was unprofessional. That's not written in this script. Oh, okay. That's, that's not no, mentioned. It's in, it's in the script. No, it's not. I was sick and tired of waiting for you. What? But I mean... That, I, so he's saying, I'm sorry, but at uh -huh. the same time, I'm not sorry. Yeah. Because, you know... 
I this is this is what happened, you know. I'm sorry, uh -huh. but you know I it, did it because you were always late in this, and I wanted to get back at you. By the way, this song is just really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> I want to win. So um, now that our producer has heard the final music selection of Sam and I, it's time to select the winner of this battle. Go go! And the winner of our music selection battle is drum roll, please. Can we get a drum roll, please? Blah, 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 blah. The winner. The winner! No way, no way, the no way, winner is... <laughs> oh yeah! Ip Jung Jung Lee Bai Ip Jung Jung Lee Hai Bai Featuring Treja and Simon D. We'll hear it and be right back. Congratulations! The song you just heard was Ip Jung Jung Lee Bai Primary featuring Treja and Simon D. That Sam chose. Not Benji, but Sam. So how do you feel? I feel great! Great. G R E A T. You spelled it wrong. G <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Think. All right. So, um, of course, we have to hear why our producer selected the song, and he said, "The manager has to change the order. You have to uh, resolve your differences in terms of." Yeah. Yeah. in English. You gotta put yourself in different like views, shoes. Uh, mm -hmm. You guys know the manager. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> you lost. <laughs> so, anyways, it's it, hey, this kind of stuff happens, you know. Yeah, I yeah, I picked the, a different song for the situation than I thought I should. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, it happens. It happens. People lose. So, if I said pick a song, you know, off the top of your head, would you be able to do that? No. So, like, if I said like pick a song about money. Huh? Money flow by Sam featuring Kation. Oh. <laughs> Pick a song about Korea. <laughs> and you guys hear by B.I.G. <laughs> oh! Pick a song about Between Night and Music. Pam Gaw Oh, B.I.G. <laughs> Alright, just kidding. Finally, pick a song about being called by someone. Calling Me by Sam featuring Pac-1. Oh. We actually heard that today. Yes, we did. So anything you want to say before the end of the Halloween um, comes around? I'm the winner. And Benji's the loser. Mm. And the song is Yip Chang Jung by Primary. Featuring Trisha and Simon D. Yes, and I can't wait until Halloween. I don't think I'm going to be getting any candies, but... Getting some sugar instead? <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, um, Ip Jung Jung Ni uh, in Korean actually means, um, I guess, um, standing in someone else's shoes. Ip Jung Jung Ni. Because oh. Jung Ni has to do with, like, uh, organization. Uh -huh. Putting things together. And then uh, Ip Jung is kind of like point of view. So kind of organization of point of view. Uh -huh. Um, I don't know. So uh, each other's point of view. Each other's point of view, I think. So uh, I feel like though, when it comes to this kind of stuff, you uh -huh. know, it takes a while. It takes a real man to step up. It it, it does because I've worked with so many managers mm -hmm. within the past ten years, mm -hmm. and wow, wow, you have to communicate. You actually do have to communicate. You really have to communicate with your managers. I think so. Yeah. You have to do that. If there are no managers, there are no artists. If there are no artists, there are no managers. You know, you guys are meant for each other. It's not like you, you can't be, you know. It's not like, you, you know, you treat your manager not well. Yeah, but that, it becomes like that because you make the money, you get the fame, and you start... You get airheaded. That's yeah. what it is. That's what it is. Like, you think like, oh, I can replace this person, but it's not like that. Yeah, but once the bubble pop, you're done. Bubble, bubble, pop, pop. Yep. Alright, so, uh, it's time for us to wrap things up already. You know... Yeah, it is. Yes. What, do you have anything else to say? <laughs> anything else you want to say? Um, no, you don't. All right, have a happy so, Halloween. Have a happy Halloween, guys. Send me some candies. Party. Chocolates. Are you going to go to Itaewon? No, I'll be in Shanghai, probably. Party in Itaewon. Take a look at my passport now. <laughs> I'll be getting that money. You All can right. find Benji at Itaewon Fridays to Sundays, 12, 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. That's probably. a lie. Okay. All right, so send us out. We're going to check out the song Break a Sweat by Becky G, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. We just heard Break a Sweat by Becky G, followed by Ghost Town by Adam Lambert. And it's time to reveal the answer for Double A Music Quiz from the first hour. And the answer is... Shia or Kim Jun Soo. Alright, so thank you everyone for participating in today's Double A Music Quiz. I'll be waiting with another Benji hint tomorrow. You won't want to miss it. 
Now we'll check out two songs requested by our listeners now. And we're going to check out the song first that Melody Pick of Thailand wants to hear, Amen by Monster X. And Aaron of the USA requested Face by New East. And it's time to say goodbye. Our last song for today is I Don't Want to Go to Bed by Simple Plan featuring Nelly. This was Benji of B.I.G. And as always, I'll be back.